Hello. In this video, I'm gonna solve uh, lead codes problem 1381, which is design a stack with increment operation. It's a custom uh, implementation of stack. In general, in programming, when we have a stack, it's uh, a pile that we fill. So I have push and pop operations. In push, I just add to my stack. So uh, let's say I received push two, I put two in my stack, and then I received push five, I'll put five on top of the stack, and then push six, I put six on top of the stack, nine, I'm just adding to a stop, and then I receive a pop operation, and in the pop operation, I just remove the element that's at the top, so I'll return eight, I'll return eight and remove it from my stack, I'll return nine and remove it from my stack, return six and remove it from my stack, and then if I receive a push, I'm gonna add at this location on top let's say four and i'll keep doing push and pop operations but here we'll do things slightly in a different way first of all uh, i need to determine the size the maximum size that uh, i can my stack can handle and then i need to do the push and pop uh, functions i need to implement them as I explained. And finally, I have a custom function here, which is called inc, which would increment the bottom k elements in the stack. If I read the hints, the first, the first hint tells me to use an array to represent my stack. The push will add new integers to this array. Pop would remove the last element in the array and increment will just increment the first k elements of this array. So I, they want me to use an array. I can't just use the stack that comes in my programming language. In fact, I'm implementing a stack and they want me to use the array. Also, it tells me that this solution should run in order of one per push and pop. Therefore, I can't copy my array into a new one and add to it. I'm not using a list, I'm using an array and it's I, it's telling me that I just can't copy into a new array and increase its size. So therefore, I need to find a way to iterate inside my array, not to copy it. Also, I can use order of k per increment. That means I can uh, iterate over all the k elements that I want to increment. So let's start with something easy. Since I know I'm using an array and uh, it wants me to declare its max size. Let's add a couple of common variables between all the functions. I'll add, first of all, a stack position variable that would remember my position inside this array. And I'll declare my array. So I have int stack array. I didn't initialize stack array here. In fact, I'll initialize it in the custom stack function after I receive max size. So stack array equals new int of max size. So I have an array that's of max size. If I look here, I have max size of 17. Therefore, I have elements from 0 till 16. Let's see how can I push into this array that's representing my stack. And I receive a push here. I put the element that I receive in the index that I'm in. I'm starting from zero. I put it here too. And move to the next index. I'll wait at the next index. So eight and move to the next index. Seven and move to the next index. And let's say I received a few pop requests. I would uh, return what's below and uh, decrement my position and then I'll do it again. So I just returned nine and seven, let's say, just let's focus on the push. And I received a push request and again, let's say I'm pushing five, I'll put five and move to the next one. I'm not erasing from the array, I'm just moving inside this array to keep my number of operations constant as requested. And if I want to push 7 this time, again, I'll overwrite 9 with 7 and move to the next element. And I'll keep moving inside my array till 
I reach 16. So I just filled 15 with 7, index 15 with 7. And at index 16, I received a push that is 2, and I moved to index 17. And from here on, I just can't add to my array. In fact, it says adds x to the top of the stack if the stack hasn't reached the max size. So after I filled 16, I can't add to my array. I have to check, I have to start first of all with checking if I've reached my max size or not. To do that, I'll go to the push function and add an if statement. I'll start with an if statement that checks if I reached the max position. So stack position should be equal, less than or equal to my array's length that's equal to max size. I can either use stack array dot, dot length or uh, store max size in a shared variable. So I'll just use stack array dot length minus one, since here I have a stack array dot length of 17 in my example, I'll check if I'm at 16, if I'm less than or equal to 16. I can also make this a bit simpler. I can just use less than and stack array dot length. Since I'm increasing in whole numbers in integers, it will check if I'm less than 17, if I'm at 16, it's okay, it will proceed. Otherwise, it will not. So, in fact, I don't need this semicolon. Inside these curly braces, inside the if, I'll just do what I did on Excel. That is, I will add x at the position that I'm already in, stack array at index stack position. will receive the value of x, and I'll move to the next position so stack so stack position plus plus that's for the push for the pop we know how it works we want to just check uh, the boundary conditions so i'm at index 17 and i received a pop request i'll decrease to index 16 and return to and i'll receive another pop request i'm at index 16 i'll decrease to index 15 and return the 7. I'll decrease to index 14, return the 8. If I receive a push, I'll do, I'll do as before. I'll overwrite this one and move to the other one. So I'll keep popping till here. I just returned the 8 and uh, I received another pop request. I'll decrease my position, as I said, and return the two. This means that my stack is empty. So if I'm at index zero already, my stack is empty. I have to uh, see what to do. It tells me that if the stack is empty, I have to return minus one. So I need to check, in fact, that before returning anything, if I'm already at index zero or not. So I'll start with an if statement to check my position, to check if my position is not equal to zero. And in fact, since I'm dealing with positive indices or, and uh, I'm just decreasing them, I can use greater than zero. So if I'm not at position zero, I'll decrease my position and return the element at my new position, return stack array at stack position. Otherwise, if I'm already at index zero, that's else, I'll return minus one. Now I can delete this else because inside an if statement, uh, I have the return. I won't reach this else. I'll just keep it for clarity. Even though our work isn't complete, let's run the code just to make sure that it's working somehow. And here I'm, I've pushed to one and two, and I'm popping, it gave me two. And at the end, I'm popping again. I pop till the stack is empty and it gave me minus one as expected. These values are different because I need to increment them. I didn't increment them. So let's see how to implement the increment function. 
it says that the ink function would increment the bottom k elements by the value val. So I need to start from the bottom of the stack, and usually we don't do this in normal stacks. We're doing here, we're doing it here in a custom stack, and increase k elements. It's also saying that if there are less than k elements in the stack, I'll just increase all the elements in the stack. So here I have 17 elements. If I have k20, I'll just increase the 17 elements. That's from index 0 till 16. So to do this, I need a for loop. And I'll use an i in this for loop. I'll declare it inside the for loop to iterate over the k elements that I have. And it's increasing. And I'll check if i is less than the length of the array. So if i is less than stack array.length, this will tell me if I'm still less than the total number of elements in the array. So I don't uh, keep increasing and receive an error. So if this condition is satisfied, I'll increase stack array at index i by val. So that's stack array i plus val. And I can rewrite it in a better way that's plus equal. This is more concise. This, in fact, would work. This is efficient, but it has one problem. For every element, I'm checking if I'm less than the length of the array and I can uh, instead check if k is greater than uh, stack array.length since I'm starting from index 0 I'll have no problem doing that so I'll check if k is greater than stack array.length and in that case I'll just replace k by stack array.length This means that if I received a k of 20 and my array is of length 17, k will become 17 and the for loop would iterate over 17 elements. And now I can just remove this if statement. Let's run our code to see if we have any unnoticed typos. It's accepted and let's submit it. The code seems to be very efficient and uh, it's working fine. It passed all the test cases. So as a summary, we had a stack. We designed the stack that would increase on its top and return the element that's on its top using an array. So that's a custom stack. We implemented a method that uh, uh, indicates the maximum size of this array. Then we implemented the push function that, that would add on the top of the stack, since we're using an array, it would iterate inside the array. It would uh, uh, add at the index that it's in and increase the index. We used the pop function that would decrease the index that we're at and uh, return what's in the new index. And we implemented the increment function. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any clarifications, let me know in the comments.